today we're going to talk about the expansion kit for Zulu Sonderam parts. It comes in this yellow envelope. Uh, it includes eight new cards and a sheet of new rules that both explain what the cards do and also just suggest new ways of playing the games, different things that you can add. I will not go into detail because I don't want to spoil you the fun, but let's just say that there are options that are recommended here that you can decide to add that would uh, improve the Zulu command control, that would change something in the melee combat at night, that will give you the option of fighting a morning battle, so the morning after the night of battle, and that will give you more control on the infliction of um, retreats or hit on the units. There will be a way that you can do to get more control on the side if you want to retreat the enemy or if you want to inflict an extra one. Um, also, you have eight extra new cards, and those cards are four leaders, four heroes, and four new volleys, mainly for a matter of balance, because otherwise if you, otherwise if you add only the leaders and not the volleys, you add too many leaders. Uh, so you have Private Hitch, Private Jones, and Corporate Allen. What Corporal Allen does is you can return him to your hand to add one die to any single volley of one or two dice, or you can discard him to add a plus one die roll modifier to its own volley. It's already pretty good, so it's going to be a glorious sacrifice if you decide to do that. Um, these two privates, what they do, and I really like that, uh, one of them changes a single die result in a volley to a 6, so that means to a 1, and the other one changes a single die result in a volley to a 5, that means a retreat. And very often you know that you would want specifically a hit or a retreat. That result is good, but not as much. Well, this gives you a little more control on that factor. A very good leader that you have in the expansion is Major Spaulding. He has the ability to um, give you a plus one die roll modifier to a volley when you just return him to your hand. You can discard them to um, put forth every hero in your hand plus an additional hero from your discard pile, but not himself. I know you were really thinking about that. No, that'd be cheating. Other leaders. But they can come back. Those heroes can come back and be pretty good. This is a nice little set. It adds enough materials and ideas that will allow you to add variety when you're playing the game from game to game. Also, the new abilities are nice. I like the fact that you have more control on the type of damage that you can inflict, especially if you're using both the new special rule and the cards that specialize in that. Uh, even if you just see it as these new eight cards more of the same, it is really not because adding eight new cards to the deck does make the game much harder to beat because a new card is a lot, the game is longer. Um, for example, now I like to play the game with all the cards from the basic set, the optional cards from the basic set and all of the new cards in the expansion deck. I just like to have this thick deck which is hard to beat. I'm just that kind of player. I don't know. Uh, also, it is a pretty inexpensive set, so bottom line, really, why not get it?